Hello beautiful souls, divine beings, welcome in this lovely space with me. Today's reading goes into the moon, a call from the moon. And we're going to look into what does this moon wants to reveal to you or what does this full moon wants to illuminate for you. Because the full moon, it's always an, an opportunity for illuminating something that is unconscious to us or something that is hidden, something that is behind the veil. So a full moon offers an opportunity for illumination in a certain area. Uh, in your life. So we're going to read into that. We're going to look into what area wants to be illuminated for you. So you can also be more aware of that area. And then I'm going to see what else wants to come through according to that. So if you are interested in that, I will see you in your reading. Hello beautiful souls, divine beings, welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile one, I have a message for you. And for you, pile one, the moon wants to illuminate something about an ending. An ending that feels or felt very painful. Um, something that really feels like or felt like a loss. And the moon wants to reveal something there or wants to draw your attention there because there is something that is unconscious or something that is hidden from you in that area that the moon is inviting you to look at in this specific moment. I do feel strongly in here this is a painful ending and something that really feels like a loss. So if you are not resonating, resonating with this, then this is not your pile. Let's see. What is this about? Or what else wants to be revealed here? Because it's really, really about... Um, this is a painful ending. This is a painful ending and there is fear and guilt is also here. There is fear here, guilt and forgiveness that is coming through. So whatever this and that, and I, I felt that also, a painful ending and a loss, it can also involve a transition of someone. But it's also an ending, you know, it's dead. An ending which is also a new beginning, but still the moon wants to draw your attention according to this situation that feels like a painful ending. Or it's from the past. Um, although I do feel for most of you this is something that is still present. If not, it's something that is lingering and the moon is trying to pull your attention there because there is still fear and guilt um, hanging around that situation and the moon is really inviting you to go into forgiveness forgiveness of the self forgiveness of the other but forgiveness in the in the big sense of um, or forgiveness seen from from the higher perspective of releasing yourself from anything that is hanging around that specific painful ending. So forgiveness work there to yourself or to the other or just according to this situation.
and specifically fear and guilt is coming up here so this might also be a, a help for you or a guidance for you in, in where to really look if you if you don't know what this is about This is something that has caused you a lot of confusion. It has caused you a lot of confusion and it really, it, um, we have the tower here, the tower with the emperor. So this is something that really, um, it ripped out your foundation. It ripped out your feeling of stability, according to something. And it was... It was something sudden for most of you, something unexpected. Which might also have caused confusion. I feel I want to go into some guidance here of how to how to go there. If you don't know yet um, how to go there, because forgiveness work is really coming through here. Forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiving the self, forgiving the other, forgiving the situation in the, in general, releasing yourself from that these dense emotions, these dense feelings that are still hanging around this situation. The Hermit is here, go into solitude for this, go into meditation for this, go into connection with this, um, for this, with God, Source, Spirit. Ask your guidance to help you with this. I felt it already. This is what I, the main energy that comes through here is clearing out the old to welcome in the new. There is whatever is still around, hanging around that situation, around that painful loss, it's creating conflict and it's creating delays in a way. It's creating delays into your new beginning. So it's really, your guidance is coming through here and the moon is shining a light up on this to make you aware of that, to look into that, look into that painful ending, look at the make space for the feelings that are still hanging around there and take the time to release them. Because they are creating conflict and they are cre creating delays into your new beginning, into your um, coming home in, in different areas. So they are creating some kind of blockage in there. And this is where you want to go. You want to be um, in this new beginning. You want to experience this feeling of home. Home within, home within your, home within, home without, as within, so without. This is where you want to go. So the moon is really inviting you to look at that situation, to look at that specific painful ending and to release, forgive, release, let go, surrender what is still hanging there. Forgive self, forgive others, forgive the situation. Go into hermit mode for this. Connect to your guidance. And clear out that conflict. That conflict that is creating delays. It's creating delays for these new things to enter into your life.
chariot. There is a promise here of victorious um, and the five of cups again. There is a prom and healing under it. So there is a promise in here that if you if you look into that now, this is a fast moving movement. And it might feel like a detour in a sense because you are here and you want to go there and you have to go a little bit back. But if you try to go from here to here, it's there is this 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 is in between there and it wants to be cleared out. So it just it's a little step back. Just take a moment to look at that with pure intention, with clarity, look at that, do the work, do the forgiveness work so you can move on um, fast. It's a fast healing. It's a fast healing of this loss, which is also there again, the Five of Cups. So it's available for you to, to go through that in a victorious, fast tempo to really invite in that new beginning that is here for you. And I want to pull some numbers also for you to, to take with you that if these numbers show up in your outside world, this is a, a message from your guidance to um, make you aware of something that is related to this situation. So for you it's two, which is also very beautiful because two is the, it's the number of harmony, it's the number of balance, it's also the number of union. So this is whenever two shows up for you, um, single, double, triple, uh, quattro, four times, whenever the two, don't search for it, but when it catches your attention, this is an invitation from your guidance to look into that situation and to see um, to see what is still there and to become aware of your guidance according because your guidance wants to give you some kind of sign some kind of information that is related also to this Trust your intuition is also coming through with the two. Seeking harmony in all aspects of your life, fostering peace and unity. So your guidance is really inviting you, the moon and your guidance is really inviting you to clear that out. Because it's creating conflict and it's creating delays into your beautiful new beginning. That is, that is very near. If you just take a moment to look into this. Okay, my dear beautiful pile one. This is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it was helpful. And I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello beautiful souls, divine beings, welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile 2, I have a message for you. And for you pile 2, the moon wants to illuminate something here about... This is something that you feel disappointed about. And I feel for some this is related to your home, family your home environment, something that is a wish for you or something that was at some point a wish for you and you are disappointed in the sense of you are not feeling seen in a way. You are not being acknowledged in the way that you wish to be acknowledged for. And the moon is shining a light here on the, the moon is inviting you to look at that, feelings of disappointment. And 
the moon is also shining a light on the fact that your guidance has been trying to inspire you in certain ways. And as it comes through, you have not been fully following up on that guidance. As it comes through here, it's like your guidance has been trying to, to catch your attention according to this. To inspire you with certain ideas, with certain different ways of um, journeying or navigating yourself through this. But you have been missing the signs. Or you have not been acting on the inspirations that were given to you. And the moon is really asking you to look at that. The moon is also asking you to, when you now look at that, whatever this is, it's something that feels disappointing for you, that brings up feelings of disappointment. And the moon is inviting you now to go in there and to, to sit with these feelings of disappointment, wherever that is for you. And the moon in this moment, or your guidance in this moment, when you consciously sit with that, you will be offered certain inspirations to navigate this differently. Because what I also feel in here is that there is expectations from other people involved. And what you are expecting is... Um, in the end, we should never expect something. We do this. As humans, we always go back into expectation, but... When we have expectations, the possibility of being disappointed or when we are very attached to the expectation from other people, the chance that we will be disappointed is big. And the moon, your guidance in here is really inviting you to look at that and to come into this state of I have no expectations or I do my utmost best to have no expectations and you can still have some expectations like I say it's very human to go into expectation but it's about staying open for infinite possibilities and don't be fixed on one certain outcome stay open for infinite possibilities and make sure that your the outcome is not um, an attachment to you so your inner well-being is not depending on a certain outcome or on a certain expectation i hope that makes sense And there is something, is this, if this is within your home environment, according to other people, there is really an invitation in here to sit with that, sit with your feelings of disappointment and invite your guidance in to inspire you with different, different ways of navigating through this. Because you are making it more difficult for yourself with certain expectations you have. And I also feel in here this, there is a lot of focus on the external world there. But again, there is this invitation of go within. And as within, so without. If you come to this place within, where it doesn't matter what the outcome of a certain situation is, then you will not be disappointed. You will not be shaken within from something. You will also see that this is not personal, whatever your situation is. So it's about looking within and look into your disappointments. And look into where are you um, expecting. And try to 
come to a place of expecting nothing or expecting a lot less and just focus on you and what I wanted to say here um, stay open for infinite possibilities instead of focusing on one specific outcome because it's very possible your guidance wants to if there is something because the wish fulfillment card is also in here and if there is some wish involved with this also there is also this message of being focused on only one way of how this should go but there are infinite possibilities that can bring you to the same outcome so also this invitation here to stay open for infinite possibilities and don't be fixated on one specific outcome so go back within and the first is look into where are you disappointed where do the feelings of disappointment arise within you and ask your guidance in call your guidance in because they really want to inspire you with something here something different some different way of navigating through this something else here I want to pull some number also for you and this is a number that your guidance will use when it's important for you to be aware of whatever is relating related to this situation so your guidance will speak to you through this number 999 okay that's beautiful also because this is 999 is also this is an ending this is an ending of something and what i feel in here is an ending of a certain way of doing something which will set you more free than you were before yeah in, in here i really feel this an ending of expecting or being focused on one outcome but and a new beginning into being open to infinite possibilities so for you pile two whenever you see 999 or whenever the number nine don't have to search for it but whenever the number nine is really catching your attention this is an invitation from your guidance um, as a little help of look within look within because we are trying to catch your attention according to this situation and your guidance is really trying to help you to to transform to end this and to step into something different here your guidance is coming through very strong and they're coming really through with with we want to inspire you we want to give you inspirations we want to give you ideas for a different way of navigating they are really <laughs> they are really actively um standing around you like listen listen we have something for you make a moment take some time to listen to us take some time to connect with us because we have we have some good stuff for you so listen to that and especially 999 or 9 in general when this catches your attention this is really your guidance ticking you on the shoulder like hey we have something for you connect be open to receive our guidance according to this okay my dear beautiful pile two this is what i have for you i hope you enjoy the reading i hope it was helpful and i'm sending lots of love lots of light lots of peace and blessings for each and every one hello beautiful souls divine beings welcome in this lovely space with me whomever chose pile three i have a message for you and my beautiful pile three for you the moon wants to il illuminate to you that you are really 
um, as it feels here that the, the moon wants to illuminate to you that something is really completed and the moon wants to invite you to be very clear about where do you want to go from here so this is a revelation about yes indeed we have the world here yes in the it's a beautiful card yes indeed you have completed something and from here you have to be very clear and take leadership over your choices about where you will go from here that is what the moon wants to illuminate for you. That is what the moon wants to reveal to you. That is a, a very short message and I'm, I'm feeling into where can I go with this? Because I feel the thing that, that really that just wants to come through here is like a confirmation. Confirmation of, yes, you have completed something. And now it's up to you to, to choose the next part of your journey. So where should I go from here? <laughs> That's exactly, that is your question. Where should I go from here? Where should I go from here? Interesting, eh? That's the energy. Um, picking up on this energy for a while already. Through the readings. Um... And I have the same as in a former reading also that I'm like, what should I do? Because it's not up to me to go somewhere from here. But I do feel there is something um, here, something that wants to be revealed extra according to this. But the main message for you is just a confirmation. Yes, you have completed something and now you have to choose where you go. consciousness be very conscious about the choices that you make from this point on use your highest possible consciousness use everything that you have learned up until this moment to to choose the path that is in resonance with your highest possible uh, potential If that is what you choose, of course. Just be very conscious of before you take, before you make a choice to go somewhere, be very conscious about what do I want? What do I want to experience? What is in resonance with my truth, with my value, with my worth? So yeah, it really feels like the moon here is inviting you to, to just take a moment to, to choose, to be very conscious of where do I want, where do I want, this want is very present in here also. Where do I want to go from here? Because the whole road, all roads are open for you. Not all. A lot of roads are open for you from here. There is a big sense also of stability that is in here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So if you are still in a place where you are worried about money, there is no need to worry about that. Because the moment you're going to... Or it is going to gonna come in um, somewhere soon, or it's also related to the moment you're going to start to walk. 
uh, on your new chosen path, also this will align with you. There is nothing to worry about according to finances, according to um, physical um, resources. There is a, a, a stability in here. So for you, it's really like, okay, something is completed and now I'm going to use my consciousness to choose. We also have the mycelium card, card here and this is this, it's a network, it's network, it's working together with other people, working together with universal forces, working together with the divine, you in co-creation with other people, other beings, other forces. So this moon for you is really inviting you to be very conscious about the choice or the choices you're going to make from this moment on, from this point on, where do you want to go? And be very careful, be, be, be very, um, not careful, be very conscious about the choices you make from here. Again, bring everything you have learned up until this moment, bring that with you and really choose, really choose with your highest consciousness. Also be very, also the mycelium card in here, what I also feel in here is to be very conscious about the associations you make in this time with other people. If you choose to go into a commitment with other people in whatever way, also there be very conscious. Are these people really resonating with me? Is this project really resonating with me? Is this path really resonating with me or not? And if not, use your consciousness and say no to it. Because there are a lot of different possibilities for you from this moment on and it's really about there is this big possibility in here for you to choose what you want choose what is really in resonance with you There is a very noble energy coming through also here. And what I feel with that is to, yeah, to just make choices that, that are in resonance with what you know within to be your truth. To don't settle for anything less than you deserve. That is coming through very strong here too. Not from a place of ego, not from a place of pride, but just you in your truth, still humble, but you being aware and conscious of your true value and choosing according to that. And also having the possibility to choose according to that. Okay, um, yeah, you are really coming out of, you are coming out of, of the darkness, you are coming out of constriction, you are coming out of restriction, and you are now in this moment of you, freedom. It's a very beautiful energy. Like I say, this, this keeps on coming through through the readings also. This is your point of um, painting in, painting in the, the canvas, the blank canvas as you want to paint it in. Okay, my beautiful pile tree. Ah, 
I want to also for you, I want to pull some number, which is, it's a number that your guidance is using in this time for you to make you aware of whatever, whatever is important to a, yes, I felt it already. Whatever is important for you now, according to this. And what comes through for you is four and four, 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 four. So whenever, don't search for it, what, whenever the number four catches your attention, for a single, double, triple or quattro, quattro, four times, four times four, if the number four catches your attention in whatever quantity, this is your guidance um, really speaking very clearly to you according to this, according to the, the choices that you uh, can make in this moment. So just be aware of that. Again, don't go searching for it, but your guidance is really speaking to you in this moment according to this with the number four so if this catches your attention be aware what are you what has been presented to you uh, maybe there is something that you that you are not aware of and by seeing the four you are more aware of what is in front of you what possibility is being offered to you what opportunity is there or it might be an invitation to really feel does this resonate with me or not but stay aware also of the number four, because your guidance is using that in this moment very strong. And it's also, I have to put it there, because four, 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 for me it's so in resonance with this Ten of Pentacles. This is very strong stability and not being worried about stability anymore. Just being very stable and very free in your life. Feeling safe, feeling secure, feeling, feeling you are standing on very solid ground. Very solid foundations. And this is your beginning point. This is the beginning point of your journey from this moment on. So choose well. Use your consciousness, always step into what resonates with me. And choose well and enjoy your path. Okay, my dear beautiful pile tree, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it was helpful. And I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile four, I have a message for you. And for you, pile four, the moon wants to illuminate um, or draw your attention to your intuition. Your intuition is um, full on, I hear. Your intuition is full on sending you uh, messages it's like it's um, what is the word for that it's it's overloading you with messages your intuition is speaking to you very very strongly in this time and i do feel it's a collective reading i do feel some different areas in here this is about something that is related to your home to your home environment family something that is related to to a project your career your work and there is also something here about holding on too tight to something so your intuition is speaking to you very very strongly sending you incredibly um, incredibly a lot it doesn't work it's sending you a lot a lot of messages
it's this message after message after message after message after message so your intuition is very very active now and it's really it's it's trying to make certain things clear for you and the fact that it comes through like that is the is the feeling that i have with this is you know you know whatever you need to know in whatever area this is because different areas are coming through here but your intuition is really on point so if you are doubting about your intuition it's really on point but what i feel in here is because there are so many messages coming through you or your intuition that is trying to pull your attention so strongly is that there is a lot of doubt about is my intuition on point or not so yes your intuition is on point and it's really speaking very strongly to you so this is what the moon wants to illuminate for you to be aware of your intuition and to to take these messages from your intuition and to also do something with that because it's gonna it's gonna help you in that area where it needs um, something needs to be illuminated there or something needs to change in there or something needs to be to be put into your consciousness there Yeah, it's like your intuition is overloading you with messages. That is how it comes through here. And again, it's a collective reading. I do feel these different areas in here. So it's up to you to, to, to feel what kind of area um, do you feel blocked or do you feel that you are not in balance. And it's in that area that... Or it's about that area that your intuition really wants to speak to you. Or is speaking to you. And it's, it's asking you from you to trust in that. To have faith in your intuition. And to also act on it. Let me go a little bit deeper in here. first card that drops out i didn't even pull it just jumped out it's the nine of cups so it's very possible that um, this is about something that you were wishing for something that you are have been trying to manifest and your intuition is overloading you with messages of confirmation like yes your wish is fulfilled it's gonna show up in your physical reality So you get a lot of confirmation from your intuition. But there is doubt involved here. That's why it comes through so much, so strong. The moon is really illuminating for you trust in your intuition. Because your intuition is on point. And your intuition is giving you very valuable information. And it's up to you to trust in that. To have confidence in yourself. To have confidence in yourself and to yeah to trust, to trust in your intuition. Six of Pentacles, this is the let me pull one more first. Hmm. Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Fool. But again, I do feel um, there are some different areas here where your intuition is speaking about you, uh, where your intuition is speaking to you. But Nine of Cups, something that is a wish fulfillment. Six of Pentacles, the energy in here is this 
giving and receiving, but also something that is very equal, something that is very balanced. There is a big energy in here also of generosity. Seven of Wands, standing strong in your beliefs. Believe in your intuition. That is really the, the main thing that comes through with this one. It's not defense, because this, this card also carries an energy of defense. But in here, it's really standing strong in your beliefs. Believe in what your intuition is telling you. Don't doubt. Trust in your intuition. The Fool, a new beginning. So, all of this together, it's like the moon wants to shine a light. Bring your awareness on the fact that your intuition is really on point. That you really have to start trusting deeply in your inner guidance, in your inner GPS. Because it's guiding you into a new beginning. It's guiding you into a new beginning that is or that is an experience of wish fulfilled. Trust in your intuition and follow also the guidance of your intuition according there. If you feel your gut feeling or, or if you feel your intuition is, is um, guiding you into a certain direction or guiding you to do something, guiding you to say something, guiding you to don't say anything, guiding you to wait, whatever, just keep on tapping into your inner GPS and follow that, follow up on that guidance. Trust, yeah, this just keeps on, I keep on hearing it, trust, trust, trust. It's like this trust, also the way it comes through, it's like um, trust. Trust in what we are saying to you. Don't doubt so much. Trust, yes, you are on point. Yes, it's true. Yes, you can trust in that. Yes, you can believe in in what your intuition is telling you. Yes, you can you can believe in these, these premonitions, these visions you see, these feelings you have, these insights, these aha moments. Trust in it, trust in it. That's how it comes through. Very sweet, very loving. To, this is like also an invitation to, to get yourself out of your comfort zone according to insecurity about trusting in yourself. Which also is a completely new beginning in your experience of yourself. Trust. It's just, it's this sweet, sweet voice. Trust, my dear. Trust, my dear. You are on point. Trust. All is well. Yes, your new beginning is here. Yes, it is a wish fulfillment. Very sweet, very sweet divine mother energy in here. And this is that, that softness that is there also. And that it makes sense also with the insecurity that is there. And it's it's a process also that we that we that we walk through, that we go through to really trust in, in what is our what is our our inner GPS uh, communicating with you with with us. How we, how is it how is it communicating with you? And what is it communicating with you? Your inner GPS and your guidance around. It's a process to walk through that, but there is really this invitation in here of go next level. Go next level. No need to be insecure anymore. There is, 
you can really trust in your intuition which doesn't make that which doesn't mean that at times you will you will still make um make a choice or m that is not in resonance with your intuition or do a misinterpretation of but it's okay it's okay it's okay to make mistakes which is not it's not a mistake it's a it's a way of learning and it's a way of um trusting more and more into your guidance your inner guidance and god source spirit your guide your guides your team that is working with you to trust more and more in that but there is really this invitation in here of go next level because you are holding yourself back out of insecurity and this is not necessary it's really not necessary Blessings. Blessings, acknowledgement, applaud is coming through here. So I I feel for a lot of you, this is also your intuition is speaking very strongly and is, in, is giving you confirmation after confirmation after coming after confirmation that some blessing, some wish fulfillment is arriving for you. And it's this this is coming through again as a confirmation on top of your intuition, on top of what your intuition is already saying to you. A lot that yes it's coming in trust trust in it beautiful this is only the beginning the best has yet to come that's it's coming together with the fool it's a new beginning the best has yet to come this is so beautiful I'm going to end with that also. I just want to pull some... Um, I want to pull some number for you, which is... Um, it's going to help you to... Whenever this number shows up... Let me first pull the number. Two. For you, it's two. So whenever the number two shows up for you, in single... Um, double, triple, quattro, whenever, don't search for it, but whenever the number two shows up for you and it catches your attention, this is your guidance trying to make you aware to be more aware or to be extra aware in that moment. This is your guidance also speaking to you according to this situation according to your intuition or according to this blessing according to this this wish fulfillment but in the in the the core of it it's about trusting in your intuition and whenever you see the number two it's like an extra confirmation so your guidance is coming through in here with this message with the two also if um off Whenever now you see the number two and it's catching your attention, then stop doubting. Know that this is an extra confirmation that your intuition is on point and that it's safe for you to go next level, to really trust and to allow yourself to be guided by your inner GPS and by your guidance. Okay, my dear beautiful pile four, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it was helpful and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile five, I have a message for you. And for you, Pile 5, the, the moon wants to illuminate 
a certain tower moment for you. The first card that came out with you is the tower. There were also a lot of cards that want to show up. It's like they were all jumping out of the deck. And this is... It feels like a tower moment that is... It might feel quite um, overwhelming. We are also now in eclipse season, which is... An eclipse is a tower moment on its own. And the moon really wants to, wants to shine light upon here. Um, on this tower moment that has already happened for you or that is about to happen for you. And the moon comes through very strongly here to invite you to look at this from the highest possible perspective. Because this tower moment, it's an opportunity that has been given to you by the divine to bring harmony in your life. It's an opportunity to balance out to balance out confusion and worries or an area in your life where you are very confused and where you are um, burdened by a lot of worries. This tower moment is opening up a new pathway for you to balance this out. So what I feel in here, because it is the tower, no, it is the tower, but all the rest of the cards, they are very positive. So it's really this, it's possible something happened to you or will happen that is going to shake you. It's going to shake your foundation. But there is so much um, emphasis here on see it from the highest possible perspective because this is instantly offering you a new pathway into harmony. A pathway to balance out, to clear out confusion and worries or to clear out an, ener an area in your life where you felt very confused and where you were burdened haunted by a lot of worries and we also have the four of cups here with the seer so this is really an invitation in here to don't get caught up too much in the tower moment itself in what it might um, don't get too caught up in the emotions of it but keep on seeing it from the highest possible perspective because this is an, an incredibly beautiful, divine opportunity that has been offered to you. And it's the way it's coming through here is like something that if you would try to change this situation around because it also feels like it's a situation where it was it was quite blocked. There is this confusion here. There is fear. There are worries around. And it feels like if you would walk this in a gentle, soft, slow way, it would take you a lot of time. And now there is here this tower moment, which indeed might shake you a little. But it's this instant, instant opening up into a new pathway. A pathway that feels very harmonious and very balanced, very light, very bright, but it's inviting you when the moment, when the tower moment happens, or it happens already, to pull you out of the identification with the feelings according to that, to see it from the highest possible perspective, and to really see the, the amazing divine opportunity that is in here. Because it's, a, it's really a beautiful, beautiful, divine opportunity that is being offered to you here. So the main thing here is to stay in connection with your guidance. Stay in connection with your higher self. Stay in connection with God, Source, Spirit. And... Also ask in your guidance, allow me to see this through your eyes. God, Source, Spirit, 
or your higher self. If it has happened already or if it will happen, call in your guidance here and, and pull yourself uh, into your highest possible perspective according to this. Because again, this is such a beautiful, beautiful, divine opportunity that is offered to you. This is really, it really feels like a blessing. But in the moment of the tower, it might not feel as a blessing. But it is. It's a big one. It's a big one. A big positive one. So trust and faith is also coming through with this. This is very divinely orchestrated, very divinely guided here. And of, again, offering you this beautiful, new, bright, light pathway, which will feel so harmonious and so balanced. There is a lot of communication coming through here also from the birds. So whenever you see birds, they, they, are, they are guiding you also very strongly in this moment. So when you see them, be grateful that they are there. They are protecting you. They are guiding you through this. And they are also... Of course, they are also, um, whenever you see the birds, try to remember that higher perspective, because that is also what they are, um, why they are coming through so strong. They are inviting you in this wave to, to look at it from the highest possible perspective. And there is wisdom in here. There is there is a lot of wisdom in here also. So trust in that higher perspective. Trust in the wisdom that you are connected to. Trust in your own wisdom. See, see it for what it is that also that and that is the 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 illusion and the and the truth because the illusion when the tower moment happens and we are fully identified with the tower moment we lose the perspective of truth we are in the completely completely um, identified with the with the event that is happening or with the tower moment identified with these feelings of but then the birds the owl is coming through also here with this see through it see see the truth through that illusion and keep on seeing this this incredibly divine opportunity that has been offered to you here because this is really this is the truth no matter how it looks this is the truth. This is a, an incredibly divine opportunity that is offered to you in here. Within the eye of the storm. So again, this, this confirms this tower moment that you are in, went through already, or that is, that is here for you. And stay in peace. You are the eye of the storm. It doesn't matter what happens around you. Stay in peace. Connect to God, source, spirit and stay in your inner peace and keep on seeing through your one through eye. Keep on seeing through the eye of truth. Look at this from the highest possible perspective and see the blessing in here because it's a big one. 
it's a big one. This is a precious gem. Keep on seeing it like that. Pure white light. This is so divinely guided. An invitation here to clairvoyance to see this from the highest possible perspective and to see the precious gem that this is. Be still within the eye of the storm. Be still. Be in peace and see this with the eyes of truth. That is what the moon wants to reveal to you in this specific moment. That is what the moon wants to illuminate for you. Wherever you are, whatever you are going through, this is a blessing. A blessing in the disguise of a tower moment. But it's a big, big blessing. You got this. You really got this. Again, there is so much wisdom that you are connected to, that you can tap into. Remember the birds? They are always inviting you to, to look at it from this higher, the highest possible perspective. And again, this is such a beautiful pathway opening up for you. So this is just, this is a big invitation to, to see it like that. To see how the divine is working for you with this tower moment. And I know it might, um, a tower moment can, can, it can bring up our fears It can bring up our fears, but only if we identify with it. When you connect to this peace, when you connect to God's source spirit, you can see this for what it truly is. And nothing will show up on your path that you cannot handle. You got this. You really got this. And this is a fast, this is a fast happening, a fast event which can fastly turn into, which is a blessing, but within your experience, it's just about you seeing it from the highest possible perspective, and you will not experience this as being disruption. You will experience this as being a blessing. So be open for that. Stay in that, in that place of seeing it like that, of seeing it with the eyes of truth. I want to pull also for you a number. Beautiful. For you, pile five, this is um, the number eight that comes through. And the number eight, uh, single, double, triple, or four times. Whenever the number eight catches your attention, it's the same with the birds. This is your guidance that is giving you an extra confirmation of all is well look at this from the highest possible perspective this is a blessing this is a big big divine blessing that's been offered to you so stay aware also of these numbers it's possible they show up when you are maybe um, attempting to go into ident identification with something you should not identificate with it's possible that then these numbers will show up. Or through this process, this number will also guide you through. So whenever you see eight, don't have to look for it. But whenever it catches your attention, single, double, triple or four times, whenever the number eight catches your attention, this is your guidance speaking very clear to you. Look at this from the highest possible perspective. This is a big, big blessing. And it's the number eight. There is also a lot of abundance um, involved with the number eight. It's infinity also. It's this. The truth. See the truth. 
through the illusion. So if you would be worried about something according to um, lack, worries, fears about lack, scarcity, poverty, feeling left out in the cold, this is also something that your guidance wants to bring through, bring through. Don't worry about that. Trust. Have faith. Trust in whatever the divine is doing in this moment for you. Because it's blessing you big time. This is a precious, precious gem. So allow yourself to see it in that way. Okay, my dear, beautiful pile five, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this was helpful and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one.